Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be trying out some new products from a couple of new brands and I actually enjoyed making this video for you guys. If you guys want this kind of review videos more, then please let me know in the comment section below and all the product details will be mentioned in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Also guys, before we start, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. We are very, very close to 70k. And now let's get started. So before starting off, I just washed and cleansed my face with this uh, Dharma Vive Hydra Cleanser. Currently, I'm just loving this. This does not dry out my skin. And I'm going to moisturize my face with this Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. I take a lot, like I'll take this much. Currently, my skin has been more towards on the drier side. And it really hydrates my skin. And it does not leave my skin oily also. Uh, my skin really absorbs this product very easily, like really well. Next, I'm gonna use this Sugar Eligibler Smoothing Primer. I like this primer because it um, helps with the discoloration and also makes the skin very, very smooth. So it creates a very smooth base before the makeup. So now my skin is prepped and now let's start with the foundation. So this brand Auric, they sent me a couple of products which I'm gonna be trying out today. And there's Ruby's Organics also. I'll be trying out a couple of their products as well. I'm gonna be trying out this foundation from Auric. This is called the Cover Matte Foundation. So the consistency is not runny. I'm using my Plume sponge. This is a good match. And the sponge I'm using is from Plume. This is the Celestial sponge. I can already say that I love the foundation. This is like blending really, really nicely. I'm gonna add a little bit more to see if it's buildable. Oh yes, it's very buildable. It's a mattifying foundation, um, but it does not dry out my skin. It is still hydrating. And I would say that it's got a medium coverage. Okay, so I'll show you up close how my skin looks after applying this foundation. So it's got a very like kind of dewy effect going on. It does not dry out my skin and it's not completely matte. It still has that dewy uh, finish to it. It's not tacky at all. Like when I touch my skin, it, it is not tacky at all. It just sets really, really nicely. I really like this foundation, guys. So I loved the foundation. This one, the shade is light tan for me. You can actually see how glowy my skin looks right now. Absolutely, absolutely love this foundation. For concealer, I'm gonna be using this LA Girl Pro Conceal HD concealer in the shade Pure Beige, and I'll be blending it out with the plume sponge. The sponge is really, really squishy, and I love it. I love the way it blends my foundation, and I think I can take a break from the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge and use this one. I actually like it more than the microfiber velvet sponge. So to highlight my under eye area, I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium. So this one is the Auric Blend Easy Compact in the shade Ivory Touch. So it instantly mattifies my skin. And I like the coverage. And I think I'm gonna set my entire face with this. So if you use both of these together, it gives a beautiful coverage to your skin. Even after setting my skin with the powder, it's very, very strange that I don't feel my skin dried out. It still feels hydrated. After applying the foundation and the compact, my skin actually looks very, very radiant and very smooth. And I love the fact that these products are enriched with vitamin E and they're paraben free. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna use the Sugar Arch Arrival Brow Definer and I'm gonna do my brows real quick. For blush, I'm going to use this Ruby's Organics Blush in the shade Deep Rose. I have used this blush before and I absolutely love this blush. So this has got a very creamy texture and I absolutely love it when I apply it. So you just have to blend it with your fingers. And it gives a very natural, flushed look. So this might seem a lot, but it actually blends really, really well. Now I'm going to apply the highlighter. This is from Ruby's Organics and the shade is Aura. You just have to take a little and tap it on your skin. It just looks like a very um, glowy 
skin. It does not look like you've applied any highlighter. It's so natural. This is the most natural highlighter I have come across till date. For those of you who like uh, natural highlight, especially for the daytime, this is the best I have come across. My skin is just glowing. I love it. Now I'm gonna contour my face. I should have contoured it earlier, but it's okay. So now I'm gonna contour my face with this sugar face palette. This is in shade number 01, and I'm gonna use the contour shade. The brush I'm using is from Lakara. This is the F001 brush, and it's the fat brush. Recently, I have been using a fat brush for my contour. I don't like the really structured contour these days. I love more of a bronzy kind of look. So today I'm gonna use this Sugar Eyeshadow Quad. I'm gonna use this E006 Lakara brush and I'm gonna use this shade in the crease of my eyes. I'm gonna add this shade all over my eyelids just for a light wash of colors. Now I'm gonna use this plum shade in the outer corners of my eyes. Wow, the pigment is really nice. I am going to apply this gray shade in the lower lash line area. And I'm using this Lakara E007 brush. Now with the Lakara E008 brush, which is a pencil brush, I'm just gonna blend the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara. I'm gonna try this Auric Everyday Mascara. So the wand looks like this. It says that it is water resistant and smudge proof. And let's see what it does to my lashes. Since it says that it's an everyday mascara, I'm hoping that it's got to give a very natural effect. Like this mascara actually is for everyday use because it's, it does not, it actually did not do much to my eyelashes. I'm not a fan of the mascara, but if you are someone who likes a mascara that gives a very natural effect, then I would say go for this. So this is just one coat. This is what it did to my eyelashes, just gave it a little shape. I'm gonna try a second coat of the mascara and see how it works. So this is after I applied a second coat. Now I'm gonna apply this Auric Intensive Kajal. So this is how the tip looks like and I'm gonna line my upper lash line. Okay, this is very, very smooth. I love it, this is very, very smooth and the pigmentation is amazing. I'm gonna apply it on my waterline as well. The kajal is smudge proof and waterproof as well. Now I'm gonna apply some lashes and I'll be right back. I'm wearing these Polyglow lashes. Now I'm gonna be trying out their wing tip eyeliner. This one has an angular tip as you can see. Because of the angular tip, the application is really smooth. I'm very bad with eyeliners, but I actually loved how smooth the application was. I didn't face any difficulty applying it. I'm gonna apply this Auric High Define Lip Liner. And this one is in the shade Pink Passion. I love the application, it's very, very smooth. It just glides through. Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna fill in my lips with this and check how the pigment is. I love the pigment. This is just the lip liner. I haven't even applied any lipstick yet and it looks beautiful. They've also sent me another lip liner. This is in the shade Mystic Red. For lipstick, I'm gonna be using their Auric Mattifying Liquid Lip and this is in the shade Pink Panther. Oh, the color is beautiful. Absolutely love the color. It's gonna dry down matte. They've also sent me another shade. This is in the shade Toasted Almond and it looks beautiful. So the other lip liner was this one. This is in the shade Mystic Red and it's a very, very pretty red. I just tried their lip liners. They are very pigmented. You can just wear a lip liner and not top a lipstick on that and just leave the house. It's that pigmented. This lipstick is transfer proof. So this is the end of my review video. I loved using and trying out all these products. You can have a look at how my skin looks after using all these products. 
I enjoyed this video a lot. Let me know if you did and I'm gonna try some new products again soon. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. Please like, share, comment and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Till then, go forth and dazzle.